I'm Robert Scovel, and you're on Tech on Deck. Uh, you know, Scott Jordan, and by the way, we're in Scott Jordan's living room. Scott Jordan uh, runs uh, Scotty Vest, and he, uh, you know, for the past few years, he's been uh, asking me to come to Sun Valley for this Allen & Company event where all these billionaires are in town, and uh, he, he wanted us to come and make media. And, uh, you know, I thought, uh, first of all, I thought about new tech uh, because uh, at Rackspace, I use a new tech TriCaster with a three camera studio setup to generate media for uh, Rackspace. And I thought, oh, we, we need uh, Philip Nelson here to uh, help us out uh, to make a, a video show of what we were dreaming about. And, uh, here we are. <laughs> it is exciting to be here in Sun Valley at the uh, Scotty Vest Secret HQ and making amazing content. The yeah. interviews this week have been unbelievable. Yeah, we had the, uh, uh, C, uh, the guy who runs CES. We had Jeremiah Oyang, who's the, the world authority on the sharing economy. We had Hap Klopp, who's uh, the co-founder or the founder of North Face. Uh, we had uh, uh, Samir Aurora, who, who ran, runs the seventh largest media company in the world. And, but, and, and really, you know, what, what, when uh, Scott tells me about uh, Allen & Company, it's all of these media industry executives. I interviewed uh, Disney's CEO the other day on the lawn there, uh, and the Murdochs are here, the, the Bezos, the, the, you know, uh, the people who are making... Uh, media companies are media magnets, I guess. And media is changing, and thanks uh, in a lot of ways to what new tech is doing, right? You know, it, it is exciting. You know, when, when Tim Jennison founded new tech, he has a quote, and I love it. He said, in the next 20 years, your favorite TV show will be made by you or someone you know. And this was in 1985. So if you think about back to 1985, we didn't have the internet. We didn't have live video streaming. We, you know, there was still a gatekeeper, and that gatekeeper was a television station. You had to have a television transmitter, a cable network, or tons of videotapes to get your message out to the world, and that was his vision. And so here we are in 2015, and we are here. I mean, if you, you look at all the millionaires that are being created as YouTube sensations and people that are taking the content into their own hands and creating their own network, like Leo Laporte has done, and then, um, you know, you also have, you know, it, the, gate, the gatekeepers truly are gone. Yeah. So really good content wins. Yeah. It's not some corner office that says, I don't like your idea. Well, and to me, it, the theme of this past two days has been uh, about Facebook and its dominance and its continuing uh, shift to, to video. I mean, if you're reading Facebook on your mobile phone and you're scrolling through the feed, what, what do you notice? You notice some video playing as, as you scroll by it, right? And if it's good video, it gets you to slow down, it gets you to click play, and maybe it'll get you to convert and buy right. a product. And that's the new marketing. And, and every company in the world has to communicate this way. Uh, you, you have to put out a lot of video. I'm, yeah. You know, at Rackspace, they send me around the world to study the future, and I'm doing a ton of video, even on my iPhone, and that video needs to be incorporated into a corporate marketing uh, plan, right? right? Well, you know, they said, you know, when social first erupted onto the scene, you know, people would say, oh, you have to have a photo. Yeah. Get a good photo. Now we're at the point where really you do have to have a video. Yeah. You know, and how do people, they say pictures worth a thousand words. Well, in video, you get 30 pictures per second. So. You know, for some of these billionaires, they have uh, entire video studios. I mean, Microsoft, I just toured Microsoft Video Studio again. They, they cost $10 million, and they spend a million dollars a year on just the equipment for right. it, uh, upgrading the data centers that they're running, because they have satellite feeds coming in from around the world. They have uh, major studios where they have, you know, really expensive cameras shooting 4K video. Right. Um, and, and that's fine for Microsoft, but most of us don't have the budget of a Microsoft, right? right? Most of us have to do this content marketing on $50,000, $100,000. You know, we have to uh, argue in meetings to get uh, that kind of budget, right? right? And that's why I love new tech, because uh, we can do this kind of video for very low cost. Right? You're, you're right. You know, the, the TriCaster, you know, for those of you that don't know what it is, yeah. you know, our concept of the TriCaster, it's a mobile television studio in a little portable box. It allows you to mix multiple cameras, add in some graphics, roll in video clips. You can even do green screen, virtual sets. 
Yeah, not everybody has a beautiful oh, home like this to shoot the, in. The Scotty Vest HQ is probably one of the greatest backdrops I've ever seen for a tech webcast. I mean, this has been spectacular, but not everybody has this. Yeah. But like in our TriCaster, we have this technology called holographic virtual sets where I could, you could take your iPhone, walk out onto Scott, Scotty's deck, do a panoramic shot, and now turn that into a virtual set, and we're just standing in front of a green screen in a 10 by 10 room. Which which uh, sometimes is safer. I mean, we had some troubles with cameras that were getting brighter and darker, mm -hmm. partly because the lighting conditions here are changing. Right, one indoor, of the outdoor, one of the rules, sunlight, LED light. I mean, I, I work for a billionaire. I get maybe 15 minutes of his time every six months to do media with him. If, if I can't make that happen in 15 minutes, I look like an idiot and I lose an mm -hmm. opportunity to make a piece of media that, that really could change my life and my, my company's life, Rackspace's life, right? So controlling the uh, variables is really important a lot of times. I'm rethinking my approach to video here, doing a little green screen uh, studio and doing some of these virtual sets. So right. people think I'm in Sun Valley, but maybe I'm sitting in front of a desk with a green screen. Around. Well, you know, an example of how that's been used, USA Today, when the Olympics were in Vancouver, they, you know, space is a premium at the Olympics. Not everybody can get good looking studio space. So USA Today basically rented a hotel room in Vancouver, shot some images of the city skyline of Vancouver, put it in a virtual set, and their reporters came in and would sit in front of that virtual set. They weren't lying, they really were in Vancouver, but they were sitting in front of a green screen and it was Vancouver today and they were talking about Olympics coverage and it looked fantastic because they're sitting in front of this, what looks like a million dollar studio with the Vancouver skyline out the windows of the studio and they're just sitting on some stools in a hotel room. When a company like a Rackspace or, or you know, a, a Nike or whatever, wants to get into maybe building a little tiny studio to do this kind mm -hmm. of video, that, the kinds of things that we're doing here on Tech on Deck, what should they be thinking about budget-wise? Is it $50,000? Is it $100,000? It's scalable. Um, you know, do it, like you know, the TriCaster nice Mini starts at like five grand. Yeah. So you can get some affordable HDMI cameras for $1,000 each. Under 10 grand, you can get into it. And then, you know, if you do want higher end cameras or more camera inputs, like the TriCaster Mini has four inputs, if you need eight, but most productions are three or four. Yeah. You know, in, in corporate, one of the nice things about something that's as portable as the Mini is I can have a backpack run into my CEO's office, set it up while he's in a meeting, he comes back or she comes back, and we're ready to go live with a CEO message to the company. Yeah. You know, one of the an area that's been an explosive growth area for us, I mean, we own, our clients are doing quarter of a million hours of video a month. You know, we're working with all the sports has been our, one of our dominant areas in education. You know, the NBA, the NFL, Miss Universe, MTV, all the sports and entertainment. But we've seen so much interest in enterprise yeah. because there's a, a huge communication problem in most companies as they grow. They, how do we communicate effectively, consistently to all of our employees? Yeah. And video is a great way to do that. Instead of me going to this, this to department and teaching you something and going to this department and teaching them, it may change from department to department. You may say something differently. They may hear something differently. But if you do it through video, I could do a live webcast to everybody in the company, archive it so that people that are sick that day or new employees that may join next week or next month or in six months now have access to that but content. It's super powerful. Not only that, but if I do a text blog, Nobody reads those, and it's really hard to explain and get people emotional about uh, things. Right. You know, if I'm going to show you a new product like this Apple Watch, I could write 10,000 words about it, and it doesn't make sense. But if I spend 10 seconds on video showing you the watch and showing yeah. you that I can get my notifications and that I can see my heart rate, and I show it to you, uh, all of a sudden everybody gets on board and buys You're right. it, right? So um, I just wanted to say thank you for uh, what you do, and, and thanks for the products that New Tech makes, because we use them at Rackspace, and I, I love them, and they're great products. They, they help me do my job, and uh, that, it's really great. You make us look great, and yeah. you know, I just also want to thank you, Scott, the guys from Cisco. I mean, this really has been an amazing team here at Tech on Deck. One of the coolest things is, you know, sometimes you work with a group, and everybody's like, well, that, here's my bucket that I'm going to focus on. But everybody in this entire event has just stepped in. You know, Cisco comes in and they're working on the IT. Yeah. By the you way, know. we should talk about the Cisco system. You, yeah. you brought that into the new tech. Yeah, so, so Cis, we had video conferencing going on. Yeah, so we had a Cisco. 
Cisco system, we were taking an output of the, 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 the Cisco telepresence into the TriCaster as a source. We were rolling in graphics, rolling in intro videos, which you saw on this video. And, you and could, it's all, it's you all could just bring, integrated together. You could bring in video from Skype or from yeah. a, a Google Hangouts, other things. Yes. Right? So we, could, we have a lot of choices. It could be from an iPad. We have a technology um, uh, that we can actually send. You know, you have an iPad on set, and you say, hey, I want to watch this video. When you hit play through AirPlay, it can send it into TriCaster. Very cool. So, man, it's awesome to where, be here. Where do we learn more about NewTek? If you'd like to learn about NewTek, it's www.newtek.com. And check out the TriCaster. It is a game changer and it's the leader. And thanks for joining us here on Tech on Deck. It's been a crazy uh, week here uh, in Sun Valley in this beautiful home. And thanks to Scotty Vest. I mean, Scotty Vest is, uh, I, I wear Scotty Vest. I, I, well, I'm decked I, out. I've got Scotty Vest pants. Well, I've you, got Scotty you know, Vest jacket. I've got the shirt. You know, I love it because you have lots of pockets to stick stuff in. I, you know, as a video guy, I'm always carrying batteries and filters and camera lenses and camcorders and uh, all sorts of stuff. And I, that's why I hooked up with Scott because I, I love his products. I can put so many uh, memory cards in my, even up here, right? I can have uh, terabytes few. of memory. <laughs> so the moral just of the story is steal Robert Scoble's vest. I'm <laughs> no, just kidding. You got to get me naked, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I want to shout out Brad Hunstable and the Ustream team because, yeah. as you said earlier, we brought this together so quickly. And, you know, you know so many people, and I have some friends, and we're all calling in favors and just making it happen because this really has been a spectacular week of discussion. Yeah. Thanks for joining us from TechOnDeck2015.com. Uh, see you soon. <laughs>